Hi, I'm Angela Russell in Seattle. Imagine a future where a simple lab test could help predict what disease you might get and how to keep from getting it. That's the future. It's called precision medicine and it could help millions of people with chronic or life-threatening diseases by understanding each patient's unique biology. Jay Shunderay is a UW Medicine geneticist and director of the Brotman Beatty Institute for Precision Medicine. Each human body is comprised of around 40 trillion cells, right? Um, and in disease, something is going wrong in some subset of those cells. For more than 100 years, medicine has often treated disease by treating all patients the same, finding a treatment or cure that works for most and applying it to all. What we hope with precision medicine is that we're now in a position to understand why uh, our treatments uh, succeed uh, in some patients and fail in other patients. In the last 60 years, with the discovery of DNA and the completion of the Human Genome Project, researchers have identified the genetic risk factor for many diseases, like the BRCA1 gene mutation for breast cancer. But there are limitations. About half the time when we see a new mutation, we can't tell whether it's going to lead to breast cancer or whether it's perfectly benign. We simply tell women that they have a mutation that we can't interpret and um, are really unable to provide good guidance on, on what to do with that information. I feel it first in my arm. 41-year-old Christy Blair was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 35. Her mother died from breast cancer at age 53. Now, cancer-free, this mother of five with four daughters can talk about the uncertainty of cancer treatment. I was definitely scared. It's still a best guess. You know, it's still, there's so many pieces to uh, cancer. And there's all these little parts underneath that that make either you responsive to a treatment or not responsive, but there's always that, oh, what if it doesn't work? In the future, precision medicine may allow Christy and other cancer patients like her to have her blood tested for circulating tumor cells, identifying mutations. That could help doctors pick the best treatment for her. For Christy's four daughters, precision medicine may make it possible to analyze inherited mutations and tell if they pose a risk or not. We are going to um, be better at predicting which individuals are at very high risk for certain diseases be those schizophrenia or heart disease. Babies who are born with rare diseases will also benefit. Current technology is already helping doctors diagnose newborns with rare disorders, but precision medicine will make it faster. Being able to get to the point where we can um, uh, keep people healthy right, would be, would be fantastic. And that's really the mission of precision medicine, to get to the point where disease isn't treated, it's prevented.